Hi everyone, my name is Anne Cassia and I am English faculty at City College of San Francisco and I have been here for 10 years. Hi, my name is Kathleen Marquez, known to my students as Miss Katie. I've been in the, I'm the athletic counselor on campus. Let me correct that, the only athletic counselor on campus with approximately 400 student athletes and 15 teams. And Katie created um, a couple of years ago, an athlete's cohort that could take their classes together. And I have been teaching that cohort class for English, for English 1A and English 1B for a few years now. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. So Katie's gonna tell you a little bit more about our student population. I, when I first came on as the athletic counselor, I saw a tremendous need for um, a cohort system for our students for many reasons. English in particular, because we had a lot of student athletes that were taking English elsewhere, whether it be Skyline or whether it be out of state at a place like Adams State or somewhere. I also work with um, incoming freshmen on a regular continuous basis. So every fall I have about 100 to 150 either transfers or incoming freshmen that come in and they need things like English and math. And of course, these sections are always the first to fill. So I saw a huge need specifically for our athletic population because not only do they need these classes for recruitment and academics in general, their schedules were so tight, we couldn't really fit that in. So there were multiple reasons for this need for, for an English cohort in particular. And I was just so grateful for Anne when she um, decided to take this challenge on and work with our student athletes. And it's become a huge success with our, our classes filling every semester. And now none of that would be possible without Katie. So the advantage for me is that we are in pretty much daily communication. And so when a student starts to struggle, I can let her know right away. We also bring in the coaches and we have a whole community of support, right? Which is something that I think might be threatened if Katie loses her job, which is a possibility now. As the athletic counselor, I, I ha I'm currently on the lower end of the seniority list, even though I am the only one qualified to do my job. Um, as an athletic counselor, I not only create ed plans, I um, deal with personal issues with, the, with students. I also have to make sure that, um, you know, like Anne was saying, um, I collaborate not just with my cohort, teachers, but with any instructor that, that reaches out to me when an athlete is having trouble in their class. And the reason why this is important is because retention. In order to retain our students, we need to know the very minute that they're struggling. And because Anne and I have this close relationship in which we contact each other practically every day to talk about students, we have seen a tremendous success in our class. Athletes have a higher um, completion rate when it comes to transfer le level English in particular. Um, and that, that's because, partly because they're required to take it for recruitment purposes in addition to regular academic reasons. Um, but having our own cohort system has helped athletes not just do well in English, but do well within their own community. They've created their own community within the athletic population. So before you would have a sport kind of isolating themselves, but now all sports sort of commingle. Um, we also serve a huge, uh, I would say the majority population that we serve are black, brown and poly students. And as we're aware, these are the students most affected. And these are the students who have a lower chance of going to a four year statistically, right? With our teamwork within athletics, we crush that barrier. We send students to four year colleges that would never have that opportunity otherwise. And if I'm not brought back on as the athletic counselor, this can seriously be detrimental to the athletic population on campus. 
Yes. So, and wrap up, our fear is that if Katie is laid off, we have someone, we have no one taking that position and it's very complicated. She has to also know all sorts of rules specific to athletics, not just education. And we might lose this cohort population. So we are trying to save Katie's job. Yes, thank you for that clarification too, Anne, because academic counseling um, is very complex when it comes to um, athletes in particular, because I not only need to make sure that they're doing what they, they're required to do for a degree, but also that they're staying in compliance with the California Community Athletic Association and the NCAA, which is the nationwide sort of recruitment, right? There's a lot that goes into athletic counseling. Um, and working with colleagues in other departments like Anne, okay, in English, or um, others in matriculation, and, and, and being able to have that bond with different departments on campus truly helps me help our students. And that's what we're here for. We're here to help our students. And we're here to help our students achieve not just academic goals, but personal goals as well, too. Save Miss Katie. <laughs> Save Miss Katie. <laughs>